What's up, fam? I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You are on my show, Ryan Ran Radio. This is the show I do every single whatever time I decide to do it, where basically I just get on here and I talk about whatever's on my mind, all right? We don't have any specific reason for this show, this podcast, but it has been a hit for years because of random topics and things I've said, and I always get good feedback about it, so that's why I do it. And that's why I ask you, if you guys do get anything out of my show at any point in time, you know, share it out. Put it out there. Do me a favor. Share Share it wherever you can, story it, tag me at Team Flex. Do whatever you can to help me, you know, kind of grow the show, expand the show, help more people, because that's why we do the Live about updates and whatever. <laughs> I guess that tells you how long it's been since we did one of these, you guys. Took a little uh, break on the Rye Rants. Was sick for a few weeks. Um, so, you know, delay a game. But here we are, you guys. And I got some stuff I really want to, you know, kind of talk about today regarding diets and all this kind of nutrition stuff. It's kind of like age-old stuff that I feel like I probably talked about 8,941 times. But... It always comes up. There's always more every single day, honestly. I get a message, an email, or something from somebody about these crazy diets that are being promoted in the fitness world, you know, that coaches are giving out, that athletes are getting, that clients are getting, even the stuff they put in magazines. And I mean, come on. We always have known that that's been pretty much pure garbage. But coaches, people are going out there and paying coaches nutrition plans, whatever. They're trying to get these meal plans and all these things that are just so dangerous detrimental to their actual goals their overall health and their overall well-being it's mind-boggling it's pretty much a scam ladies and gents I'm gonna say it is a scam because it it really honestly is and here's what's going on and I know most of you listening you've probably if you've been in the fitness world you've fallen into this trap there's nothing wrong with it but understand what I'm saying if you haven't fallen into this damn trap yet I'm about to save you some time all right I'm about to save you some serious time some struggle some problems some side effects they come with falling into the trap, all right? And the trap is, ladies and gents, the idea that there is a faster course to get results than just doing what you're supposed to fucking do. All right, and this comes down to nutrition, and this is what you guys see with all the ads and all the, you know, the headlines and the coaches that are posting their things and the gurus that are posting their things, and they're like, oh, we can do this in fucking two weeks, blah, blah, blah. Look at this two-week transformation. Zero Photoshop, I promise, but you guys know what's going on here, okay? Come on. The truth is, you guys, that this stuff is being pushed, it's being promoted, and it's being said, hey, you can do things better. You can do things faster. Don't do things the right way. Do things the faster way, right? That's literally how our world in the health and fitness industry has become. Like, fuck doing everything the right way. Take whatever side effects come. Take whatever bad shit comes with it. Just do it faster. Isn't that what we all want to do? Let's do as much fucking cardio as we can. Let's do as much, uh, as low calories as we can. Let's stay in the gym for as long as we can. And we're going to get there faster, right? Well, let me blow your fucking minds, ladies and gents. Every single time you try to do things faster, you try to take shortcuts, you do whatever fucking X, Y, and Z, new fad diet, new coach, new meal plan, new approach, this fucking bullshit that people want to force down your fucking throat actually prolongs your journey. It makes it a lot damn harder for you to actually get results. It makes it a lot damn harder for you to continue getting results. It makes it a lot, a lot harder for you to actually maintain anything you ever fucking get. Right? And this is like mind blowing to people. People don't understand this. They say, what What the fuck, man? How could that be possible? I lost two pounds this week. You're telling me that this is making it slower? Yeah, because you know why? 90 fucking 5% of diets fail when you look at them in the long term, right? Literally, look at any diet, any type, any person. They say 95% of people, this is a real statistic, by the way, 95% of people that go on a diet and they lose any amount of weight, they get, you know, burn body fat, whatever progress, they fucking lose it they rebound it and they get more back when you look at them in the long term and so i ask you ladies and gents what is the fucking point 
What is the point of embarking on your fucking journey to get the fastest possible results if you also have them for the shortest possible amount of time, right? I know that people think it's normal to live this kind of yo-yo diet life where you go back and forth between losing and gaining and losing and gaining and losing and gaining. You know, there's people that talk to me and they tell me that the the term, um, one of the terms, off the wagon, on the wagon, right? And that's just the way they live their fucking lives. Well, guess what, you guys? That's horrible shit that's fucking mega horse shit it's bullshit too it's all kinds of shit wrapped up in a motherfucking stew because at the end of the day it's garbage why put any amount of work in any single day of your life that you're not going to maintain that you're not going to be able to sustain that you're not going to be able to have and you're not going to be able to you know continue to move forward with in your life and that's why i hate and i've always hated the fad fucking diet culture the whole meal plan kind of culture with coaches and the coaches that give everybody the same damn diet and unfortunately after i've said these three fucking things we're talking about probably 99 percent of what is out there regarding training nutrition and coaching we're literally talking about probably 90 percent of that getting covered right there in just those three things which is disgusting to say but that's literally what so much of the fitness industry has been built on right and it's conditioned in two ways it's conditioned because all of you clients out there all of you athletes out there all you people that want fitness results out there even if you don't have a coach or whatever you just google your fucking way to your results whatever I don't know what people do these days, but even if you're out there and that's what you're doing, you're part of the problem, okay? Because you are looking for the fastest way, and you're always looking for the fastest way, and you don't want to commit to the long haul. You don't want to commit to the lifestyle, in other words, right? And then here's the other side of the coin, which is also the problem. These coaches, these gurus, these fucking publications, these websites, these things that tell you, hey, here's another way. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's a fad diet. Here's another diet. Here's a new meal plan. There's another meal plan. Google yourself another meal plan plan let's try all these fucking coaches let's try all these approaches and we ain't gonna fucking get anywhere but you know what's unfortunate is that it feeds both people's fucking goal at that point right coach out there trying to make money websites out there trying to make money these magazines out there publicizing this crazy diets and shit trying to make money uh, there's always money on the fitness coaching side of things right when it comes to these scams and this bullshit diet culture there's always that money side and what do these people want then they want the money right and so how do they get the money they get the client that says I want the fastest I want to do it better I want to do it quicker I want to get there faster blah blah fucking blah and those people pay the money they'll pay the money although spend the time googling they'll do all the things right they're gonna find something that eventually leads to exactly that people giving their money for bullshit diets and coaches and other people giving them out because they're getting money for it well guess what when I started Team Flex and I embarked on the journey of going into fitness coaching in general, if you guys don't know, I've only ever worked in fitness, right? I started at the front desk of a fucking gym. That was my first job ever. Aside from doing, you know, yard work and side jobs, I used to do a lot of that kind of shit back in the day. But my first real job was in a gym at a front desk checking people in and as the day i started was the day i started studying for my training certification saying i want to be a trainer i want to help people i want to get people here i want to get them there and as i studied and i got real certifications guys something that is not very common in the fucking fitness industry anymore either when we have coaches out there that's a whole fucking other rant i could get into i'm not but i could but the point is I got real certifications and as I learned things and I understood things and I continued to expand my knowledge of these and then I eventually started training clients and deals, I realized that everybody in the fucking industry, a lot of people at least, are just fucking ripping each other off. It's insane to actually think this, right? Clients come out and they pay for these fucking fast gurus, these diet approaches, these extreme things, these fads. They're ripping the fucking selves off first, but they're also ripping off the coach at the end of the day because they're not going to have anything good to show for it at the end of it, right? And the coaches, of course, they give out the same fucking meal plan, the same generic things, blah, blah, blah. They don't teach you a damn thing. They're ripping you off for sure, right? If you're going to pay somebody something and you don't get something out of it that lasts, what the fuck are you doing? You guys wouldn't go to fucking, you know, Walmart or something and buy yourself a, a TV that was going to eventually turn into fucking not a TV, right? Just one day, poof, gone. You wouldn't spend money on that. Because it wouldn't make any fucking sense. Why would you buy something that's not going to be there? You Once you buy something, you want to own it. And that's what you're doing. 
when you get into you know buying yourself fitness coaching trainers and stuff like that obviously it's a little bit different tv can sit on the fucking wall things like that you know, when it's fitness you still got to do the work but the point is the reason that clients fail the reason that people don't sustain diets the reason 95 fucking percent and look that statistic up if you still don't believe me 95 percent of diets fail in the long term people that did them fail because they didn't learn shit it's because they didn't learn shit you guys that's it simple as that you didn't learn how to go about your diet you didn't learn how to actually be on a fucking diet you didn't learn why you were doing the diet you didn't learn anything about eating what you don't know what a fucking macro is you don't know what protein carb or fat is besides you probably shouldn't have carbs right you don't know any of this shit you don't know what micronutrients are come on you're fucking killing me you don't know what supplements do what ones to take what ones to not do you even fucking need them you guys don't know any of this shit Anybody who's ever been in that mode, that's why you never sustained it. Because when you actually learn nutrition, and this is what I learned through all of my years of coaching and my certifications, was, hey, guess what? It's important to actually teach your clients. Teach. Go fucking figure. That's what you got to do in this world is teach. If you want to actually get results, guess what you got to do, people? You got to fucking learn. You got to fucking learn. Your coaches, your approaches, whatever, they got to teach. And you got to learn. That's how you get long-term results. Because when you understand the how and why of what you're doing, when it comes to your training, when it comes to your nutrition, when it comes to knowing what variables are at play, what calories are, what macros are, what amounts of what you need, when and why and how it works, and how do you build muscle, how do you burn body fat, how do you do each one of these things, what's the best way to recover, you know, I go on for fucking days. Guess why? Because I'm a fucking teacher. That's why I'm on this damn podcast right now, giving you this shit right here. I'm teaching you something. I fucking hope at least. All right, and that's why you should probably follow this fucking thing if you don't. But the point is, I'm doing this content all the time to teach, and I'm hoping people out there learn. In fact, I know there. I hear it all the time. I get messages all the time. Hey, your content's so helpful. That's my goal, you guys. And the people that apply it, guess what? They get fucking results. You know what's insane to me, you guys? It's like everybody who's always asked me in my entire career as a coach. Uh, you know, we got twenty-something thousand, honestly, and probably more at this point. I don't even. I'd have to recount this shit. Transformation, success stories, placings uh, for competitors and things like that over the years, you guys. We've been doing this a long time on Team Flex. Between me and the other coaches, that's where we're we're at, and that's where we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep this thing going. People always say to me, "Hey, how the fuck is that transformation possible?" How did that happen? You know, we post transformation on our clients. You know, they're clearly a lot bigger on one side, clearly a lot littler on the other. Or they maybe somebody built some muscle or something else happened. They burned a bunch of fat. They totally transformed. And people say, how the fuck is that possible, Coach Rai? How the fuck is that possible? I've been training. I've been doing these things. It's not working. I did this meal plan for this time. I did that diet for this time. I did this program for that time. I tried this coach. I tried that coach. I went to this coach. I went to that coach. Blah, fucking blah. And guess what? You know what I say? I say, hey, you know what? That has a lot to do with what the actual athlete, the actual client did. It has a lot to do with the fact that, yeah, of course, we set them up. We got them on the right program. We showed them what to do. But guess what we also did? We told them why. We told them how. And we told them how to fucking do it. And the reason that our clients get results and the reason anyone in the fitness industry or in life in general if we want to go fucking deeper you want me to get philosophical in your fucking ear the reason that people get anywhere in life fitness goals whatever goals is because they are consistent and i fucking say this to my clients every day of my life i swear literally every day of my life somebody is having something go on they're wondering how they go faster they wonder how to do this better they wonder what and i say you know what figure out how to be more consistent because even if you're consistent, ladies and gents, even if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're showing up, you're doing this and that, there's levels to consistency. You can always find ways to improve your training, right? You can always find ways to improve your nutrition. It doesn't necessarily mean you improve your programming. This is the broken model where people look for the fastest approach, the fastest coach, the fastest blah, blah, fucking blah. It's not in that. It is in the consistency. It is how hard can you push yourself? How well can you work? How much can you do? And then how do you go to bed at night having done your best and figure out how to do better tomorrow? And that has nothing to do with the program. That's got nothing to do with no fucking coach. That ain't got nothing to do with none of that shit. It has to do with the person with the tools in their hands. And I believe as a coach, as a teacher, 
I'm supposed to give people these tools. I'm supposed to teach you guys all out there stuff that will help you get where you want to be. I can't go fucking do the work for you. I've said this to my clients before too. Hey, clients having a problem, not getting workouts in, not fucking eating right, whatever. Telling me, oh no, it's not working, I'm fucking failing, blah, blah, blah. I can't fucking do the work for you. I can't do it, ladies and gents. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm doing my own shit. And I can't do it anyway. But what I can do is give you the tools. If I give you the tools, guess what you can do? You can do the work. And the more tools you have, the more ways you will figure out how to do that work consistently. And that's what actually ends up leading to results. And so that's kind of the mind-boggling thing about all this, you guys. At the end of the day, I think that the diet culture, the coaching culture, um, pretty much everything that's out there, unfortunately, like I said, 95, 99, I would say, percent of shit that is out there in this world is fucking garbage. And it's because people are just looking to make money. People are looking for the quick turn on a dollar. People are looking for the fastest approach. They want to pay for the fastest thing, but they don't realize that all you're doing is putting yourself in the hamster wheel. The amount of clients that I've worked with over the years, you guys, it's honestly kind of mind boggling when I really think about it. The amount of clients that I've worked with, they came to me and they said, you know what? This is my last approach. Ryan, this is my last approach, man. This is it. This is what I got. I've been trying to lose weight for five years. I've been trying to do this for 10. I kid you not, you guys. I had a guy that I trained years ago. He's moved on because he got the damn damn fucking results now, finally. But he had been trying to lose some amount of weight now. I can't even remember. Maybe 20, 30 pounds for 15 years. And he literally told me, for 15 years, I've been in the rabbit fucking cycle, dude. He didn't say rabbit cycle, but you guys get what I'm saying. That fucking hamster on the wheel, right? He'd been doing all the fad diets. He tried every coach. He got trainers, nutritionists. He did all the different plans. He did all these. He did everything. And he literally came to me and said, dude, this is it. I'm fucking done, bro. You're my last hope. Some One of my friends that did good on Team Flex suggested it. I'm giving it a run. This is it, though. I'm not confident. I'm not, I'm not even convinced this shit's going to work at all. I'm just here to, as a last-ditch effort before I give up and just live my life this way. Well, anyway, this guy wanted to go on and he said, you know, I got to lose 30 pounds. I said, all right, cool, man. Here's what you do. I gave him the simplest fucking thing ever. I gave him some macros to follow you guys. I told him what carbs, you know, what proteins, what fats. I said, hey, I'm not telling you a fucking food to eat at all. I'm not going to tell you what food. You eat what you want. Pick your own damn foods, bro. It's easy. Go pick your own foods. Fit it to those goals. That's it. All you got to do is track your shit. That's all I want you to do. Don't you worry about the fucking, you know, is oat, is white rice better than brown rice? Is oatmeal better than bread? Is eggs better than bacon? Don't fucking worry about that bullshit. This fucking diet culture bullshit. That's people trying to convince you that you need to buy their fucking plan because it's better because they figured out the magic foods, right? It's fucking garbage. I said, you know what, dude? Focus on the numbers. Eat whatever the fuck you want. And we're going to work out three days a week. Three days a fucking week. This guy was working out seven days a week trying to lose weight before that. Three days a week, I said, get on here. I want you to lift three days a week, hour. That's it. One hour in the gym. No cardio. Hit these fucking goals. That motherfucker lost 55 pounds, you guys, in like six months, nine months. I forget. He lost all that weight, maintained it. I trained him another two years, and he's like, dude, I'm fucking set. I got no more goals right now, brother. I'm moving on, man. I appreciate everything you've done for me. And I was like, great, dude, that's it. That's my goal. That's me as a fucking teacher. That's what I want. I want to teach my clients so damn much that they learn so much shit that eventually they're like, I'm fucking set, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Unfortunately for all you out there, all my clients listening are like, oh, shit. Well, that could be me. No, fucker, I'm learning all the time, all right? I always got more stuff to tell you, more stuff to teach you. But honestly, that feels like it's one of my goals, right? Is I want to teach people so much that they literally have learned so much shit that they feel comfortable that they can survive and do things on their own. That's literally the goal, and I think that should be the goal is any coach, any teacher, right? People go through phases of life. People move through all things. I don't believe anybody, you know, that I know now, that I train now, will ever be there forever. I don't necessarily believe that at all. As long as I keep learning, you know, hopefully so, but I'm not guaranteed. I don't believe that per se because I know at the end of the day when people learn and you teach people and you give them that, that's what gives them power, that's what gives them ability, that's what gets them where they want to go in life and that's how you can really help people and that's why I think 90 fucking 5% of the coaches in the game and all the meal plans and all the diets and everything else fail. They fail everybody. 
They fail everybody because they're too afraid of that. They're too afraid of the fact that one day their client might be so smart, have learned so much from them, that they don't fucking pay them anymore. And that's just fucking stupid. It's disgusting. It's bullshit. I'm in the game to see you get results. That's what I care about. That's what I want to see. I want to see you all win. That's my goal all the time. And I hope that you did get something out of this today that's going to help you do just that. Fuck the fad diet, ladies and gents. Fuck the shortcut. Fuck the generic coaching approach. Fuck all the garbage, all the bullshit. If you want results, figure out how to be motherfucking consistent.